Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Ashish Webcast. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the next video of how to set up two tier PKI environment series. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel Ashish Webcast and please watch my other videos as well. You will get the link for my other videos in the description box. So let's start this video without any further delay. So in this video, we will create CAPolicy.inf file for enterprise root CA. It is similar to the CAPolicy.inf file which we created for root CA and we will also publish the root CA certificate and CRL. So right now I am logged in on my CA2 which will be acting as enterprise issuing CA in my case. So I will open run and I will type notepad space c windows ca policy dot inf it will create a file click on ok so it will ask do you want to create a file click on yes and then we need to paste the entire content you can get it from the Technet article or from the well-known Microsoft public articles. Then click close and it will save the file. So let's check whether the file is created or not. Let's go to C, then Windows, then search for CA policy dot It is created. Let's close this. So now what we have to do, we need to publish the root CA certificate and CRL. So for that, we need to get the certificate and CRL from the offline root CA. So uh, we can do it by, in my, in my environment, I mean, I can directly RDP to the uh, root CA, that is CA1. But uh, in like in a production environment, it will be offline or in work group. So you may not be able to take directly RDP of that machine. So you can take the certificate and CRL on the removable media. So I have already uh, RDP, I've done RDP into the root CA. So let's go to C. So this is my CA1, which is offline root CA. Let's go to C drive, then windows, then search for system 32. Then go to set SRB and go to search enroll. And here you can see I have the certificate as well as the CRLs. So let's copy that and paste it on the drive on the on the CA2, which will be acting as a enterprise CA. I'll create one folder. I'll call it temp, keep the certificate and CRL over here. Now we need to publish the certificate and CRL. So we need to open the command prompt. We need to navigate to the path where we have kept, kept the certificate and CRLs. So in my case, it is CDC temp. So after that, I'll run one command. So to, uh, to publish the uh, certificate and CRLs, we need to run the setutil space hyphen f hyphen ds publish command. So first I'll publish the certificate. So you just need to press tab and you can see it's saying CRT that is certificate type after that type root ca and hit enter. So this is published. So in second step, we need to publish the CRL. So we will go back to the command and just type tab and CRL is here. We need to type CA1. -CA so in my case, the server name is CA1. Let's verify that. Yes, it's CA1. Let's hit enter. So now we have successfully published the certificate and the CRLs. Now let, 
let's add the certificate and CRL in the in the uh, local store of this server. So we will run more commands for that. It will be set util hyphen add store hyphen f space root and the name of the certificate. This is this one. Hit enter. And sim similarly, we need to publish the CRL as well. Sorry, add the CRL as well. Hit enter. So in this video, we have configured the CA policy.inf file for the enterprise issuing CA. And also we published the root CA certificate and CRLs. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Till then, bye and keep learning.